Hello guys, I'm back. I mean like three hours later or something, but I'm done. I've done some pretty funny things with um, the animated battlers. I actually just two things. I mean I made a skill, a custom skill, and I managed to change the sprite sheets like for a character and for example if you um, wear different clothes or wear a different weapon or something and you want to have a different sprite sheet I found out how to change the sprite sheet and it's actually pretty easy but yeah as always some bugs in the code and I was like blah, 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 and uh, 1000 cigarettes later but I managed it so basically what I wanted to show you is um, I did a custom skill and I'm just gonna show it to you. Uh, it's, it's it's actually nothing special. It's um look at yeah blah 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 blah. So yum 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 Yeah normal attack as we've seen it before. I I it's okay. And then I did this double double slash. Yo dog, I heard you like slashing. Whoa. Yeah, well, um, it's actually nothing special. It's just um, the animation, and she hits him four times, like double double four times. <laughs> yeah, well, it's actually nothing special. Um, and what I did next is the following. Um, want to change your battle sprite? Yes. And now look at me, bitches. And now suddenly I'm a completely different person. Uh, well, yeah. Um, the thing is, I mean, of course, you have no use for that actually, but um, if you want to use um, the same person with um, different weapons, you can just take the same sprite sheet um, and just. Um, change the weapon for example. Uh, just take this guy here and give him for example a red sword or sword or something. You can edit it with, with Photoshop or something. And it would really be awesome if you could change this in an easy way. And I'm gonna explain you how. Yeah. Um yeah so first um let's talk about the custom skill. Um if you go into the animated battlers you have if you scroll down to like line 800 and something you come here um, simple settings used for battle tech is Charizard above this these um, this is the area where you want to add your custom skills and yeah as you can see I <sighs> created an action double double search that's how I call this skill and yeah here's a bunch of things written down here but actually it's not that confusing I mean if you look at it no wait yeah um, pose says um, your character is doing uh, yeah is taking the pose from the sprite sheet and the row is the scale row it's actually um, I think this row here or this row, I don't know, the one is the attack row and the other is the skill row. Yeah, they are called this way. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Um, here you can see how the lines are called. Like, yeah, one, line one is called idle, etc. etc. Yeah. So, um, line five is attack and line seven is skill. So, if you look at this, um, one, two, three, four, five, this is the attack row and this is the scale row. Yeah and, and what I told the script to do um blah 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 blah, blah. there we are. Um first it goes into the scale row, completes all frames and waits four frames. I mean it's kinda obvious why we have to wait four frames because um the whole row has four frames. So what it does is it yeah it completes this row then it makes the um, effect I mean I'm gonna show you later it's this this um, 
slashing effect thingy um, and then it waits until this pause uh, until this pose is complete yeah? and then it does the other line and then it goes back to this and then it goes back to this and yeah that's actually slash 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 yeah double double slash I mean I was not very um, creative with this one but I just wanted to show you how it works um, yeah and effect self targets is actually just um, targets take damage or yourself gets damage or I mean it can do skills where you deal your opponent damage and then you get yourself a bit of damage like, like body slam in Pokemon or something I don't know um, or healing that's just um, what happens after you used your skill and then we waited like 20 frames so people have actually time to read like Oh, took that much damage. I mean, if you don't wait, it's like it's written for one second or less, and you can't even see how much damage it um, it's dealt. I mean, you can fix that. I mean, there's a um, a script for um, damage pop up. That's pretty cool. I'm going to show it maybe some other day. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, what you have to do um, too is the following. Um, you have to create the skill, of course. I mean, in the in the um, skill in the database, um, and yeah, it's it's double 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 slash. I mean, I choose I can hit the target four times. Blah blah blah. Here's the damage formula. Um, Yo dog, I heard you like slashing. Whatever. Important is this thing. Yeah. I mean, you have to um, add what action, what what skill, what animation you use for the skill. So you write write action pose double double slash that's it basically um, another thing is you saw I am um, I moved to the enemy and then I made the animation um, if you that's only automatically if you have a physical attack if you take a magic attack magical attack um, you have to type in the following um, wait let me just oh yeah you have to type in um, action movement yeah, for that's just for magical attacks but it's also written in this in the script so if you read the instructions of the script you will know this um, so if you ever wonder why your your champion is just standing on its position and not moving to the enemy maybe it's because it's a magical attack in the um, in the database and that's why you you have to um, add um, action movement to this notice section yeah um, that's basically it um, well uh, for creating skills Victor created an awesome tutorial um, user manual yeah um, the whole user manual is just um, for creating custom skills yeah I mean, it's like a shitload to read, and and I didn't even re read it because I mean, not all of it because what the fuck? I mean, you can do basically everything with this shit, yeah. Um, but I I didn't read it at all, not all of it. I mean, some parts because otherwise I would be fucked. Um, but if you want to do some awesome thing with jumping around and animation and jump, boom, pow then you can read through this. Actually, it's just um, some basic commands like um, no, that's not it. That's not it. Ah, well, fuck it. Um, you can do pretty cool things. I mean, um, the most important things is uh, movement. Move somewhere on the screen. Um, then do something um, from the spreadsheet like complete the row or even just use one single frame or just two frames or just one three frames or whatever and then you can it add animations to um, to the scale you can just um, type in like something like I guess it's anim and then you have to type the ID like 15 um, for example, then it will play the animation 15. Yeah. Um, in my case, I didn't have to do this because um, I did it here. I just um, selected special slash or however it is called in English. 